Now before we start, I want to mention that this is a lengthy quest, so get some coffee and prepare to be here for a while. To begin the quest, speak to King Lothus in the Audi Castle, and accept the quest. Head to West Arty through the main entrance. Speak to an NPC called Koftik. I probably butchered that. Choose a first chat option. Enter the scary looking cave. Then take either the north or south path. Do not take the center. Speak to Koftik once again for a cloth. Use the cloth on any arrow that you brought. Right click the arrow and hit light. Then wield it. Head north and shoot the rope on the bridge to lower it. Now you're going to see a red dot right away on the map. Go ahead and take that if you forgot to bring a plank. Keep heading along the path till you find an obstacle. Now you might have to adjust your camera, it's a little tough to see, but use a rope on this small spike. Keep heading along the path and jump over two rocks. Now you'll be faced with a small puzzle, but don't worry, this is pretty straightforward. It's just a order of eliminations. If you walk on one of them, you'll probably fall. But keep trying until you find one that you won't fall. Then take another step, then take another step, until you find a certain pattern that is safe to cross. Here on screen you can see that after a while I did find my path. It's going to be different for each player. But once you've found the path, go ahead and pull the lever. Now continue and just north you're going to see a small furnace. Keep that furnace in mind. You're going to have to travel for the next room. But go ahead and right click the sort of traps on the wall to disarm them. There is a chance you might fail them. But it's definitely better to just always try to disable them. Once you're in the room with all the altars, you can do them in any order you'd wish, or just follow what I do. You'll have to collect three orbs, so let's do the northern one first. Go ahead and use your plank on three of the flat rocks, then grab the orb. And do the same process in reverse to get back. Now the middle path is basically the same. Use the plank on the flat rock to obtain the orb. Now for the northwest orb, it's just going in and grabbing them. There are some ogres, but they're not really a threat. Now for the southernmost orb, go ahead and just try to pick it, but before you click on the ball, right click it and hit search to try to disarm the trap. Then run back to the center of the room. Now remember that furnace I mentioned a minute ago? Yes. Go to that furnace. 
use all four orbs on the furnace. Once you've done that, head back to the western room where you collected the four orbs. Click on the well to climb down it. Then continue along the path till you see several jail cells. You're going to see one of the jail cells with mud. Go ahead and pick lock that door. Then go ahead and dig on the mud. Keep heading along the path, then click on the ledge shortcut. Now this room, you might spend a minute or two, depends on your luck, but just keep trying to get to the far eastern side of the room with some bats. Head south and you'll see a pipe obstacle. Squeeze through it. So here's the infamous moment where you killed a unicorn. Go ahead and search the metal cage. You're going to find a piece of metal. Now head south behind the unicorn and you'll see a rock. Use the metal on the rock and blam. Now search the unicorn to obtain a unicorn horn. Head to the northern room. Now the next room is pretty linear, so just keep on running past a few zombies. And you'll find a few paladins. Go ahead and slay them for a badge, but if you need extra food, talk to them and they will give you some. Once you've obtained the three badges, continue along the path and you'll find a well. Use the three badges and the unicorn horn on the well. and proceed to the next room.